So some of you may be wondering what the differences are as far as riding a four-stroke and a two-stroke. What are the major things that separate them? Four-stroke uh, fires every other rotation. A two-stroke fires every rotation. So it goes up and down, fires, or down, up, fires at the top, you know what I mean. But anyways, the two-stroke does that. The, the four-stroke has to do two rotations up and down before it fires. So it fires, goes down, up, down, up, and fires again. The reason that's important is because it makes the two-stroke not flame out. It's firing every time it, the piston gets to the top. And so the two-stroke does not want to die. And what they've done is they've designed the two-strokes to where they have a more linear power instead of like a hit, like a really big hit. And that's really good for enduro riding and cross-country because you can still rev them out like you can a four-stroke. But then when it comes down to crawling through the rocks, you got to drop your RPM as close to idle as possible without killing the bike because that will get you the maximum traction. So a lot of times you'll be revving up your bike, let out the clutch, and getting a little burst of power, then pulling the clutch back in, letting the inertial torque take over and guide you through the rock sections. There's a lot of clutch work involved, but that's generally how you would do it. Four stroke, you try to do that, and the second you let out the clutch and, and rely on that power, it tends to be more likely to just die, which is a flame out. Because it's, it's relying on that piston making it around twice before it fires again, and it doesn't like being down low RPM. It likes to be revved out. But that's one of the benefits, is uh, four stroke has better torque. Generally speaking, it revs out a lot harder. And not only that, but it gets its oil, not from the gasoline, but from the actual engine itself, you pour the oil in and it's always getting uh, that premium amount of oil on the engine, on the piston. And so it's completely lubricated and you can just hammer these things non-stop and generally the engine's going to be okay. Reliability wise, they should be okay. So that's why I like four strokes, especially for the desert, is you can just rev them out. The engine feels really good and when you get the smaller bore ones, then you're getting that two stroke feel as far as how light they feel, that's one of the big differences too, is, you know, when you're riding a 450 like this one, there's a lot more to this engine, a lot more moving parts, and you feel that in the bike. You wouldn't think you would feel it as much as you do, but you really do. So it feels way heavier than a two-stroke. You get off of this thing and ride a two-stroke, and you're like, wow. This two-stroke weighs nothing, which they weigh about the same these days. But the two-strokes still feel way lighter. I'd much rather ride a two-stroke up in the mountains, rock crawling. But I'd rather ride this thing out here in the desert where I have to rev it out all the time and use a lot more of the top-end engine and in slides these four strokes work way better as well because you have that smooth torque from the piston traveling by itself with no spark getting to it. That inertial torque from that piston moving around, you know, cam chain and all that stuff. You have a lot more to a four stroke engine. More complicated and more expensive to work on, but also, great lubrication and generally they last forever. So, it's 
far as riding two strokes, I, I think they're more fun. If I was to have one bike, I would probably have a two stroke. But it'd be hard to say, because then if I did want a desert race, it'd be hard. So um, I might, it would, be a, it would be a hard thought process there, but I would probably um, consider at least the four stroke. It's getting dark, it's getting a little bit colder, so I'm gonna head out. Catch you on the next one. Peace.